Okay, so probably on last Sunday you have seen a live stream from Air Factor 2 and now we are cooperating with IRG World which is a big league based on Air Factor 2 and you have seen a stream from EGT which is technically GT3 racing and it was on Silverstone and actually on Sunday, so it, yesterday you probably have seen a Formula 1 race so yeah, this is a new thing on our channel so if you like this kind of thing, you can watch it, there's Polish commentary and we're not commentating that because we'll be just talking about cocks, but if you want like it, just don't watch it and forget about it. Let's get back to proper news and we start with race room racing experience and some new content. Now it's the Bentley Continental GT3 it was announced and no idea when it will be added to the game but another GT3 card to make the lineup more complete and to give us the opportunity to compare with Project Cars or Forza 6 again. Yeah. So now let's talk about Rayleigh and it's time for Sebastian Loeb Rayleigh Evo and Milestone release some new previews. Great. Again should be making the game not releasing previews all the time. Apparently making photos is easier. Now we have talked about the DLC for the ETS2 Eurotrack Simulator and it's now officially released. So yeah, also coming with the patch 1.21. So now you can have, no you cannot have a prostitute in the cabin, but you can have a laptop or a dog with a moving head. So you can still watch a porn. Kind of. Is dog with moving head a porn? No. So let's talk about dirt, really. And on Wednesday we get a new update, 0.8 with Finland. So we got 12 new rally stage, 2 new cars and what is very important for every player, we also get mouse support. It's not important to me and the cursor stays on so it's very annoying, I have to move it to the right. Bad luck and more information about this update you can find in the description. And also next country will be Sweden. So yeah, there's another game that got the DLC this week. And it's Project Cars. Oh hell yes. The pack is called Aston Martin Track Expansion. Stupid name because there's no Aston Martin track, but never mind. It has three Aston Martins, it has one track, and it has a free Mercedes 300 as well Galwing. And it costs 5 euro and 49 cents. And I think Slightly Mad Studios should move from making games to making trailers because this is another pack which has a brilliant trailer but the gameplay is not so good. And now it's time for Gran Turismo 6 and we get finally Track Editor. And many people are very disappointed because this Track Editor is not available on PlayStation 3. You actually need iPad or Android tablet to do proper tracks like we did on a recent live stream when we did two Cox track. Well, the, the shape is debatable of these tracks, but they are really brilliant to drive, so ignore that. Apart from that, I think it's quite stupid to not give the ability to create tracks on either PS3 or at least PC. I mean, come on, most of us has PC, not a tablet. Why do you want tablet? And most of us has a mouse. So yeah, this is how we can draw track. So yeah, 22 months of waiting and you need a fucking tablet. Good job. Another thing that has been long awaited is Need for Speed No Limits, which is now available in different countries than, I don't know, Netherlands? What, what, where was it available? Yeah, Netherlands. Why? Because they smoke weed, so they wouldn't notice that the game is shit, because it is. Smoke weed every day. Brakes? Bro, do you even brake? I don't know how to brake in that game. Can you at all? I know you can drift by sliding your finger down. But... I only launched it on my Android tablet to get 50k and free Subaru. Unfortunately, this offer is not available on iOS. So good job. So yeah, let's keep on ranting further. No, we, actually we can because now it's time for beta of new Need for Speed and everything is prohibited. So we can show, we can talk. Wow, well, we'll be able to play it soon, but we won't be able to show it to you. So in recent weeks, we've been talking about the Assetto Corsa Dream DLC pack number two. And it's finally completely announced. So you have the full list of the cars and you have the prize. It will be eight euros without one cent. 
and it will also include the circuit the Catalonia. And with the DLC there will be also a patch 1.3 for Assetto Corsa for everyone and it will bring some new things like the 64-bit supported physics and some other stuff like changed graphics, or changed audio and change multiplayer and maybe some more changes. You can find the details in the link in the description below if you're interested. So the pack will be released on Thursday, this Thursday. Yeah, so last week we've been robbed by turn 10 and actually today you didn't but I get my money back. 1.4 million credits and uh, two cars, Koenigsegg Agira and Ferrari, La Ferrari, Ferrari. It's a Ferrari. I still don't have the. Well, I have because I won it in the game, but I don't have it as my reward for being the VIP. So thank you. Still, maybe next month I will receive it. Or someone from the comments give me back. And actually, on Tuesday we get first monthly DLC for Forza 6. And cars are still unknown, but on turn 10 forums you get some clues. So plenty of game has been delayed recently and Trackmania Turbo isn't an exception because it has been delayed to early 2016. So yeah they've, they've decided about this after the playtest so it's just simple words. Players said oh this is crap and fix this fix that and they realized oh we can't make it on time so let's delay it. I've never been a fan of Trackmania because it's just too fast and too arcadey but I respect it. Okay so actually recently we nearly begin third world war because we said that USA is a McDonald's country. Which is true. So recently NASCAR 15 Victory Edition has been announced and this is an update for NASCAR 15 which is on PlayStation 3, Xbox 360 and PC. So if you don't have NASCAR 15 you can buy Victory Edition for 20 bucks and if you have it's free. A next gen version of NASCAR is coming soon. Thanks Barak. Knock, knock, now let's move on to the sport that McDonald's country don't like. And they've announced that with WRC 5 we'll get a 2016 eSport with WRC 5. So either the game is so good or they don't know what they're doing. We'll find out soon to be honest. So again recently we've been talking about FIM Speedway Grand Prix 15. And actually we have release date but I found only on, in Poland. Actually it will be 20th of October 2015 and it will cost 20 euros and will be available on PC and I don't have any information about console versions and I don't know why what is going on with this game it's supposed to be available everywhere except McDonald's World you mad bro? why you mad bro? I mean to make you sad you're my bad bro so as my Clio still haven't caught fire I think it's time to end this episode of Motor News so if you've enjoyed the video don't forget to click thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you're new, follow us on other social media like Facebook and Twitter and comment and everything. And stay tuned for more live streams. So see you next week. Goodbye. Bye.